and for transforming our town by creating events like the 4th of July, fireworks, our New Year's Eve celebration, and expanding CMA Fest to reach a wider audience. How did you first come to Nashville and what was the town like then? Uh, I had Hunter call in 91 and asked me if I'd be interested in talking to Nashville. And it seemed like a logical stepping stone for my career. Thought I would come here for five or six and then move to a real city. Because when you're in my profession, if you aspire at all, you think about you know, things that were not in or within Nashville's grasp in 91. For some odd reason, Nashville had a soul. Nashville just had something. We grew together. I didn't have to leave and the rest is history. There's been so much growth in Nashville. I mean, just being here in the last 10 years, what I've seen has been incredible. What keeps you here past that six year mark, that five or six year <laughs> mark? It's the litmus test for me. If I start to get bored, if I feel like there's either resistance to further growth or it's just not possible. I haven't found anything that just matched what Nashville does for me. But number one on that list is I've never been bored. I've never been without a challenge. I have never felt like this is it. And the NFL draft is a good example. Mm -hmm. I try to look around at what are things we don't have or haven't done mm -hmm. and the possibilities to recruit something like that. We went to see the NFL in 2011 to talk about the draft. They weren't moving the draft back then. And that's the first thing they said. You know, we don't move this draft. We know, but you should. And when you do, we want a shot at it. Putting our foot in the door just to let you know, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. We were the least likely city to be awarded the draft when we got it. Yeah. And we did the best job any city has ever done with it. How do you feel about the institution of our soccer team and also the racing that's happened recently and is coming up? How do you feel these activities are helping our city? It's great to do something different mm -hmm. for the city that you know, locals get to experience something that's never been here. Yeah. Straight away over the river is the talk of the race. Yeah. It means top speeds and a really cool view. And it's branded with music, both in the name and every day. There'll be three days of concerts. So it's that thing where we can do it with a little Nashville style. You could count the cities that have three top level professional teams or more. It's a small group of cities. Mm -hmm. And I haven't looked, but we might be the smallest city to have three teams at that level. So I think it's a statement about Nashville as a destination. We play bigger than a 700,000 person city. We can outkick our coverage. We are a can-do city and it makes people pay attention. It's amazing to me how Music City actually, the sports teams, work with the arts and the arts work with the sports teams and it is a really unique thing. We do that better than any city I have seen. Secret sauce, we like each other, <laughs> we're highly competitive with each other, but we understand nobody wins if Nashville doesn't win. Our brand is built on music, but the underlying theme of that is our creative culture and our creative offerings. Yeah. So we have a lot to offer if we stop and appreciate it for a second. We're a world-class little big town. Yeah. I mean, Great name for a band.